I got money not really. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna wait for a couple more people to come in because I got just something I want to tell y'all. I want to give y'all like just advice, bro. I just feel like that right now. All right, look to everybody out there, to any kid out there that follows me and really like actually like genuinely fuck with me and fuck with my music and fuck with me as a person, period. Listen to these rules that I'm going to tell you right now. Never, ever in your fucking life let a nigga try to tell you what to do with your fucking life, bro. You know why? Keyword, your life, bro. It's your fucking life. At the end of the day, them niggas will never have to live your life. Your parents, your teachers, the people that, the people, anybody in your life trying to tell you what to do with your life, nigga, cut all that shit out. Listen to your own self, bro. Listen to your own, your own subconscious, what you think, what you really believe in. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, that's all you got, bro. That's literally all you got. I didn't, bro. Look at this shit, bro. Nigga, I got my own fucking house at 20, bro. 20 years old, bro. I just turned 20, bro. Ain't nobody fucking, bro. I didn't get here from listening to niggas, bro. I didn't get here from listening to my fucking teachers. I'm not saying don't. I'm not saying, you know, clearly, I'm not saying don't listen to you. I'm saying, nigga, do what makes you happy. Because at the end of the day, what's your life? What's worth living for, bro? If you don't, if you're not having fun and you're not doing what you want to do, what's worth living? At that point, you just maintaining, bro. At that point, you just another nigga walking in a straight line, bro. You just a robot. You got to be you, bro. You have to be you. Against all odds, bro. Against all odds. Take my life, bro. Niggas told me my whole life I need to be a basketball, bro. My whole life I need to be a basketball player. They said, nigga, you too tall, nigga. You got to play basketball. That's what you have to do. You can't, nigga, why are you trying to rap, bro? Get on the court. Niggas been saying this my whole life, bro. Like, my whole life. They been saying, nigga, bro, y'all niggas don't understand, bro. I'm just so, I, I, I'm talking so passionately about this shit, bro, because I really believe it, bro. Like, I really believe it, bro. Y'all don't know how many people done tell me I couldn't do. Nigga, stop singing, bro. Stop fucking singing, nigga. Make another, bro. Make another GMFU. Make a red light. Fuck you, nigga. I'm gonna make what the fuck I wanna make, bro. Don't, nigga. How the fuck could you ever in your fucking life try to tell me what to do with my fucking life, bro? At the end of the day, guess who going in that grave, bro? Me, bro. You by yourself. The nigga who told you to be a doctor when you grow up is not going in that grave with you. And guess what? He also don't got to go to school for eight years like he told you to do. He not gonna be in that class doing your homework for you. If you want to be a fucking musician, if you want to be an artist, you want to you want to fucking go go be an architect. You want to go make buildings and shit. How the fuck are you going to sit through school for eight years to be a doctor because your fucking parents told you to? Are they going to school with you? Are they going to school with you? I don't know, bro. I just I just wanted to literally. I literally just came on here so I could tell y'all, bro. I love y'all niggas to death, bro. And I wouldn't be on here even. Even I wouldn't even be on on here explaining this shit if I didn't, bro. I genuinely actually care about each and every last one of y'all, bro. Each and every last one of y'all, bro. And I want I want everybody to know that's my whole goal with this music shit. Period, bro. Period. I've always been a person of people, bro. Always, always, and I've always wanted to help other people, bro. And if you really believe that you, bro, if you're really a fan of me and you really follow me and you really love me, bro. You would do that one thing for me, bro. Just live your life the way you want to live it, bro. Be happy, bro. I want to see y'all happy, bro. I want to see y'all happy, bro. Because at the end of the day, money is not the fucking... Money is not the answer, bro. Money is not the... I done have money. I done blew money. And guess what? I done felt the same with it or without it. I done felt happier with no money than I do with a lot of money. You feel me? So this life shit, bro, it's, it's not about... It's not about just climbing to the top, bro. It's about figuring this shit out. It's about figuring out what you want to do. It's about leaving your mark, bro. What do you want to What do you want the world to take from what you did when you leave, bro? What are you going to leave behind, bro? I want to leave a legacy, bro. I want all the people to ever Bro, I want I want to, bro. I just I don't know, bro. I just want to spark the minds of like somebody you that's watching this live. It's 500 people in here. Whoever watching this bitch, I want y'all niggas to really just listen to me, bro. Cuz bro, look. If I did this shit a nigga from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the most random place on fucking earth. Six, seven niggas supposed to be playing basketball, bro. I'm a nigga, bro. I'm a nigga. Look at this house, bro. I'm 20 years old, bro. I'm a nigga, bro. I did this shit at 20 years old. I just turned 20, bro. 
You can do that shit too, bro. But at the, at the end of the day, it's not about money. Make sure you figure out what you want to do with your life and make sure you live that bitch out the fullest, bro, to the fullest. And any fucking naysayer, any doubter, any nigga that's hating on you, guess what you do with that shit? You take that shit, you eat that shit, you swallow that shit, and you say, guess what, nigga? Watch when this shit happen, nigga. You're going to be the main nigga hitting me like, nigga, I knew you could do it, bro. I knew you could, bro. Because guess what, nigga? And all them niggas hitting me now saying, bro, I knew you could do it, bro. Yo, singing shit. Campfire, nigga, that's my favorite song. But guess what? When I first started singing, y'all niggas told me to stop that shit. Get out the booth with that shit. You feel me? That's it, bro. That's all I wanted to come on here and say, bro. I just had to get that off my chest because I love y'all niggas. And I need to start doing this more, bro, because I'm, I'm very passionate about this shit. But I just don't. I'm kind of anti Social, bro. I'm trying to. It's hard for me, bro. I force myself to do this shit because I know it's, I know it's vital for my career. So, like I said, bro, I love y'all niggas. I hope y'all having a good day. I'm excited for y'all to hear this fucking mixtape, bro. I, bro, I've been working, bro. When I tell y'all this shit, bro, one thing about me, bro, don't ever expect me to do the same thing. Never expect me to do. Never expect me to do shit. Always just expect me to do the unexpected. Expect every time you come to a new song from me or a new tape from me, expect to hear something. That you haven't heard yet. You feel me? Because I'm never going I'm never gonna limit myself, bro. I'll never put myself in a box. What makes music fun for me and what's, what makes my life worth living is that I like making all types of music. I make music for myself first. For myself first and then I give it to y'all because at the end of the day, it's my passion. It's what I love and it's what keeps me going. But like I said, I love y'all. I'm excited for y'all to hear this shit. And I hope y'all have a good motherfucking day.